As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Shipping and handling. Some shipping. Plus shipping, a little bit of shipping today. Some shipping and handling. We shipped out a little bit of shipping. Good morning, everybody. Um, out here on the back deck, it's nice to be back in the Commonwealth. Sophie missed me. Didn't you, girl? Huh? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss the viewers? <laughs> All right. Um, at any rate, Blue Ridge Mama looked like she uh, held the fort down and, and just did amazing work while, uh, while I was gone, so thank you. And just want to mention one quick thing before we start the day and head on down to the eBay cave and start catching up on some uh, some shipping is uh, as I was driving down to North Carolina it it became clear that something was going on because the channel was adding subscribers so quickly and uh, just wanted to give a little shout out to Matt at Part Time Pickers it was uh, very kind of you to mention mention me on your show and uh, we're very grateful. Welcome back to the eBay Cave. This is Kevin and Commonwealth Picker. Thanks for joining us. We are going to be doing a little bit of shipping today. Um, quite a few things need to be shipped out. I just got back from um, North Carolina and we had three days um, shipping and handling. So what I did was I changed, and I've said this before, and some of you resellers know this already, but for those that don't, I changed the shipping and handling to three days. Um, because I was going to be gone for a couple of days and I don't like to put my store on vacation. So, um, sales were fairly slow, but in the end it picked up really quickly last night. So, I uh, sold quite a bit. Thank goodness. Um, Blue Ridge Mama could have shipped it out, but she had so much on her plate moving, moving into the new booth, um, that we decided that, uh, that we're going to do three days shipping and handling. So it's worked out pretty well. Sold some things from the kids store too, which is neat. So I'll show you what sold. So on the main store, which you can find in the description below, if you want to check it out um, or save it for later and see if there's something you want to want to get down the road too. If you if you see something on the show or something that you really like, uh, two twenty seven eighty one is the total sales out of that store and the kids the homeschool hustler store, um, which. I wish we, I haven't showed you the footage yet of Reagan doing the pictures. At least I don't think we have. Uh, Reagan's been really learning how to do pictures quite a bit lately. Um, she's done a little bit of shipping. Uh, Turner hasn't done too much. Say what? But he'll he'll slowly get into it. He's been cleaning some things that we're you know before we take pictures. Um, and earning some money that way but um, Reagan's really really been doing a good job and and if you go to the homeschool hustler store eventually you're gonna see some pictures that she took with her little hands in there and, and those kind of things so it's pretty pretty cute at any rate their store sold seventy nine dollars and twenty twenty five cents worth of stuff so pretty happy about that and if you look back on the uh, homeschool hustler episodes you'll see the the things that we're selling in that store or you could look at the store so over, um, you know, over 300, about 310 in sales total. So let's let's show you what shipped out today. Um, the last one, if you've been watching the show at all, I've sold so many of these, made a bunch of money. I haven't calculated it out. These are the Harpoon IPA um, beer taps. Right there, you see those Boston, Massachusetts, and Windsor, Vermont, and I bought them for three bucks. Three bucks a piece. I've um, been selling them for um, eighteen dollars plus shipping, so we're making after fees about thirteen dollars and change. About thirteen dollars actually. Uh, depends 
uh, on the shipping costs and fees and whatnot. But let's say we're making $13 a piece. I believe I bought 17 of them, um, which means that we're making over $200 profit on those items. So significantly more than that, actually. Um, so pretty happy with that. But unfortunately, it's the last one, which we love those uh, multiple uh, multiple listers. So anyway, um, that's a good one going out today. $18 plus shipping. The Amber Ashtray 8 inches. If you watch the show, you'll know I love buying ashtrays. I don't know why. There's not a lot of money in it. But uh, this one sold for $10. I paid a quarter for it at the Joyous Junkyard sale. You can go back and look at that Joyous Junk video if you want to see that. I bought a bunch of ashtrays that were selling in the booth, some of them. And some of them, the waffle bottoms uh, that are 8 inches are actually inserts. They go in, in into those old ashtrays that uh, used to stand outside restaurants and whatnot. Um, and Or they could sit on a table. This one happens to be the thick one, so cigars work um, better than cigarettes. But... Uh, Nonetheless, this, this goes for about 10 bucks, so I would never really pay more than a buck. Unless you're really hard up trying to, to source items, I wouldn't pay more than a buck at the very most for this. But I paid a quarter, so it's probably about an $8 profit on that item. How you doing, so? You want something? You want some treats, don't you? Are you happy to have me back? Yeah, I say I get some treats. Hey, you want that? All right. Uh, next up is... And this is an interesting one. Um, eBay occasionally takes these off. You, if you saw the video of the yard sale, you saw me pick up one of these Corningware pots that has an, um, an electric cord that goes with it. The one I bought the other day doesn't have a cord. Um, but eBay didn't let you sell those. There's some kind of a recall. A lot of times you can list them and get them sold pretty quick and it's, it's all right. But I wouldn't suggest doing that. It is going to uh, be an item that... Uh, that you part out and they most of the time they allow it if you part it out and so that's what we did with this one and this little piece sold for $19 plus shipping so um, you can get about $13 for the cord and then the uh, actual coffee pot itself will sell the lid will sell separately even the little insert for the lid will sell so you can piece the heck out of these things and make about $30 profit if you can get them for under five bucks and I bought that one the other day for $3 at that North Carolina yard sale. You can check it out. Which, by the way, if you know that pattern out there, you might want to tell me what pattern that is. I know Thrifting 101 probably could tell me. All right. Uh, next up, this was a, a bad retail arbitrage purchase at Walmart, but we're still making a little bit of money on them. I think I paid $2.50 a piece for them, um, and they sold for $10 plus shipping. There's not much money in that, but we're finally getting down to the nitty-gritty on these. Maybe about eight left or so. Um, one red, one blue, and they'll go out. We're going to put some in the booth, too, and hopefully get rid of them a little bit quicker that way. All right. What do you want today, huh? What do you want? You want me to scratch your belly? Huh? All right. Uh, next item up. Oh, just clicked out of it there. Next item up is the Red Bull Energy Drink. Little uh, stands. I've showed you these before. We're getting down to the nitty gritty on these too. These uh, were a really cheap purchase, maybe a quarter a piece, and they are going in sets of two for eleven dollars plus shipping. And we've sold quite a few of them off. Happy to get rid of one more set, and there's a few more, and we'll clear that box out of there and put something else in it. Um, and those are the little things you sit on your, your, your table and put a little ad in there, or a menu, or usually it's an ad, a display. Tupperware stackable spice container shakers. I don't come across these very often, and I came across them, and I paid 50 cents for the stack. And it goes for about $12 plus shipping, so it's not a huge money maker, but everything was there. Um, those neat harvest colors. Um, for that Tupperware. So it's a great item for campers out there. So my guess is somebody who bought this is getting ready to go camping in the fall. Just typically what happens. So Tupperware sells the best in the fall. Um, it is definitely a long tail item. I wouldn't go out there and buy tons of Tupperware, but there are four or five different pieces that I do snatch up all the time um, or I'll bulk buy something and then pick the best ones and then sell the lids off. So there's another way you can really attack Tupperware. But as a rule, Tupperware is not worth the time um, that you're going to spend on it to make the money. But there are a few things you need to check out. 
All right, next thing is a Grizzly Snuff container. Um, this was a purchase. My boy bought these at a yard sale um, a long, long time ago. Just empty containers. I can't even believe they sell, to be perfectly honest with you, but they do. This sold for $10. Um, and it will be, uh, you know, $10 plus shipping, which is just ridiculous in my opinion. But it's easy. Four ounces. It'll ship. And uh, made pretty good money, but definitely a long tail item. I want to get rid of the rest of those fairly quickly. Uh, I already had two items that I shipped out to, two small little game board pieces. So, uh, Department 56, Christmas in the City. And this is the Serving Ale series. It's a little Irish brewer right there. There's a little St. Patty's Day uh, apron on. And he's got his beer. Anyway, it sold for, this little guy sold for $18.95 free shipping. It's really, really light. We'll get that shipped out. That was a happy little accident. Um, happy little accident sale. So that means that we're going to get to put the total on here and get that total to go up. This is another happy little accident sale. And this is the coach, little coach uh, wallet. And it sold for $28.77, so we're going to have to add that one to the list as well. I think those are the only two items that sold from that list, so we'll go ahead and add them, those in there right now. They're going to, I'm going to do a quick estimate of those, um, which is something that a lot of you resellers need to be able to do. When you look up an item on eBay, you should be able to look at the item and quickly calculate about how much in fees... Um, the, the number is really about 12%. Whatever the total sales price is, 12%. If you want to make it 15 to make it easy so you can cover you know, shipping costs and material and whatever, that's not a bad way to do it either. So if that sold for $28.77, you could call it $29 um, free shipping. So that's going to cost about $3 to ship. We're looking at about $4.50 in fees at the most, probably closer to four. So you're looking at about $7 from 29. So you're looking at about a $22 profit. Uh, if you want to err on the side of caution, we'll call it 21 on this list. It's a $21 profit for the coach um, wallet. And the other item is going to be quick calculation, three, six, 12, nine. It's about a about a $12 profit on the other item um, on the department 60, uh, 56. So department 56, little AO wagon, about $12 total, which is going to put our running total, let's see, $33, going to put our running total at $331.50. And and we are still just getting started now my prediction was 2500 on this so if you haven't watched that video go back and look at the happy little accident video and tell me if you think we're going to get to 2500 um, but we are already over well over 300 dollars on it so we'll see uh next item is this was from joyous junk as well go back and look at that video um some little reels and they are uh, Kodak reels, 50 foot, eight millimeter reels, plastic um, for 9.81 free ship. So really, really light, not huge money. Coleman Navigator, this comes from a yard sale not too long ago, this Coleman Navigator, uh, one person brand new in the box, and it sold for 14.95 plus shipping. Thought it would sell in the fall um, as it's more of a camping thing, but I suppose outdoor folks, you know, at lakes and whatnot, it's a good time to sell it too. So $15 plus shipping on that one. And then the um, the items that sold from the hat from the homeschool hustler store. You saw this one in a previous video, and these sold for um, seven oh no, that's not right. These sold for um, $13.50 plus shipping. We're into these for, I don't know, maybe a quarter total. Okay, so pretty pretty good profit on those. Um, little die cast, keep an eye out for those cars. 
Next item is an item that had sold before in a previous video, but it did not get, uh, did not, was never paid for. So, um, these items were bought in the, uh, Airbnb episode up in Stanton, Virginia. You can check that out, but they sold for $22 plus shipping, um, out of the store. So it's a really nice sale for the second time, unfortunately, because the first person didn't pay. Um, and normally I do, um, this is something to talk about. Normally I do immediate pay. And so when I talk about an item not selling uh, or not actually being purchased, um, either I forgot to hit immediate pay, which doesn't happen very often, but there's one other way that this happens, and that is is, is if you accept an offer or, or if you propose an offer to somebody and they accept it, they don't have to immediately pay for the item. So, um, you know, I hate waiting around for items and I and I... If I, I have such a small space here that if I have to wait around for an item to get paid for, um, it's, it kind of makes me upset a little bit because I want to move something else in here. I don't want stuff to be out in the living areas and, and I want to rotate the inventory very quickly. Matter of fact, if I don't sell stuff for a long enough time, I just keep reducing that price because we've got to move the inventory and get it out. So, um, the other item that sold are these VHS, and there's a VHS episode in the past too. You can go back and look at those. But VHS still sells, but you gotta have the right VHS, and it doesn't go for a ton of money. Although there are a few out there that do, especially in the horror genre. But these are three Jurassic Park VHSs, and they are in the plastic. They've never been opened, and I sold them in a lot. So they sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping. So not a whole lot of money, but when you're in them for you know fifty cents a piece or something like that. It's, not too bad and it sold out of the homeschool hustler store and i believe one more item and that's super smash brothers this was just listed this is one of the fastest sales i've ever had and it's because the condition on it wasn't great <clears throat> but somebody snatched it up anyways as an acceptable condition it does have some scratches it is tested it is working it has it has a case but it does not have any paperwork with it at all and so I listed a little bit cheaper. Um, some of these are going for $37, $38 when it has everything with it. But this has nothing. And it's not even in great shape. So I put it out there for 20 How much did it sell for? Let's look. I put it out there for $22 because of the condition issues and nothing with it. And it sold in world record time so the fastest sale i think i've ever had is this item and it was probably within 15 seconds of me hitting done that's how quick it sold so i don't know maybe there's a bot out there that uh, that buys things automatically when it's under a price but we'll see it definitely got sold to a reseller so maybe they can clean it up a little bit maybe they can doctor i don't know i'm not sure but they are going to uh, probably make about $15 on that uh, in the end, which is fine with me. I made I made my money on it. They can make their money on it. So at any rate, uh, hopefully there's a few hints out there for you. And thank you guys for joining us. Uh, if you don't mind hitting that bell up there and getting some alerts, you can get our next videos. And y'all have a great day.